So welcome back. You're with Keith Payton with KQ, and we're working on highlighting some grass over here. I'm going to be using some liner brushes, and I suggest whenever you see these on sale, uh, just get a couple that you don't have, because each one of mine will do something completely different, and I really recommend you do that. I am going to be using, to start with, this looks like a gnarly brush, but actually what it is, it's a fan brush like this that I trim down to come up with this. So, I, like I said, I know it looks gnarly, uh, but give it a chance because what I'm looking for is uh, single strokes that uh, give us a variety of different looking grass. So, I'm just hitting the top edge of this. And I'm trying to vary it some, and it doesn't have to be all super pronounced at this point because we're going to fool with it with our liner brushes and kind of reestablish. So you can see how this is bright. This is getting brighter. So remember our highlighting deal. We have uh, four different greens, white, black, and blue. And what I'm going to do is take some green, put it over here, and mix some white with it. Now we can keep going up here and keep getting lighter and lighter. And that's the beauty of when you highlight in this way. So you see how nice and light that is? And I'm gonna pull off some extra paint. And then let's go up here and just hit the tops of these. And what I wanna do is go in different directions a little bit to make it look like this grass has never been mowed. If it's not perfect, that's okay, because remember, we're going to go in with the liner brushes and fix that. So the moon's here. It would be highlighted to about here. This will probably need to be darkened down, but this could be sneaking around that bush. And to me, it's kind of interesting. I like doing those kind of things. So what I'll do now is I'm going to start with this liner brush, and I have a little paint on there. The trick to me with acrylics, you want to thin them for your liner brush, but if you get them too thin, and that's too bright, that's okay. Do away with that. So I'll just put a little more dark in there. The trick with the uh, with doing thinning this that the paint down for the liner brushes is that. You get it too thin, it's transparent. So it's a happy, you have to find that happy medium to me with thinning it down with water and the paint itself, uh, not getting it too thin to where you can still get it off the brush. You get one of those, you just smudge it out. So what I'm doing, I'm getting a mix of different colors. So I could put a little bit darker highlight here, the lighter highlights here, a mids over here. And I'm just adding more of the green color just to get a nice mix of all different. Uh, if you look at a tree, it looks like it's all just green, but there's a host of greens in there, maybe some yellows. On a shade side, shadow side, you might see blues. Yeah, so whenever I can, like doing a tree like this, I, I probably used six colors, maybe more. You can see there where I'm getting those nice thin blades of grass. And when you get your mix just right, it rolls right off the brush nicely. Gives you those fine lines. You can curl it, you can bend it highlighting is so much fun then I blend it back so it doesn't look like it's just jutting out crazily from the grass it's blended in like right here see that's a nice bright blade it is fun I love it you can see it's starting to look highlighted and the color is building to where we said we wanted it here. I 
I make sure I cross some over so it looks very natural. And a couple of them are going to have to come up here. And I like doing that because it definitely looks like it's growing wild when you do that. Then it meshes it all together so it flows. Then another thing I like doing is the very end over here. And over here. Kind of establish where the light is kind of ending and going into shadow. Pretty sneaky, huh? Now, if I wanted a, a big a arcing piece of grass, I'd use one of those other liner brushes. I could do it with this, but it's obviously very thin. I can also, if I see something like this that I want to change, boom, done. It's that simple. That's the beauty of painting acrylic or oil. With acrylics, you just paint over something in a second. Oils it might take a little more work. Okay, a couple of bright pieces there. Another one coming out here. Then we'll include some of those down here. And remember, with acrylics, this is going to dry a shade or two darker. So if you get, you feel like you're a little bright, eh, I would wait and see when it totally cures. Usually by the next day, you can dry it with a hair dryer, I do that. But by the next day, you'll know better what you have. Now you can see how that's changed and looks much more part of the highlight area here. This I feel is gonna be in the shadow because it's lower. So that's it. I hope you, something, you got something out of these highlighting tricks and tips, the way that I do things. Next, we'll be doing uh, the grasses on the left side. Over here, there's going to be some, uh, right across from here, it's going to be some yellow grass, rocks, and that sort of thing. Then we'll get to the water and some shadows in here. So anyway, it's great having you with us today. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time.